What's up YouTube? So I know it has been a while since I uploaded a video about a specific kind of fish but today we're actually going to talk about my favorite fish in the aquarium hobby well one of the favorite fishes that I have in the aquarium hobby and that is the giant Daniel I really love this fish because first they put a lot of activity in the aquarium and that makes the other fishes in the aquarium feel more comfortable second they are beautiful beautiful fishes they have really nice markings on them and they are very attractive the next reason why I like this fish is that because they are very inexpensive you can see these fishes in aquarium stores in your local area and they are not hard to find at all another reason why I like this fish a lot is because they are very hardy they can tolerate a lot of fluctuations in the water and that makes them a good beginner fish the scientific name of giant Daniel is Devario aquipinatus and they are larger than most Danio species if not they're the largest species in the Danio family and they can grow about 6 inches in the wild and about 4 inches in the aquarium it really depends on how clean your water is and how much food you give them and they would grow large also it depends on the size of the aquarium that you have as I've mentioned earlier they are very attractive fishes they have beautiful markings on their body and it has like yellow lines in them yellow dots and if you're gonna look at this video they also have some hint of green and blues on their body which I think is very attractive but unfortunately on some situations for example like bad water quality for example on the fish stores or stress it would just drain out all this coloration and that's why I think giant Daniel is one of the most underrated fishes in the hobby based on my experience as well these fishes are very hardy the oldest fish I have here on this particular tank is probably around four or five years old but if taken care of really good they would usually last longer than that and that means you have to give them high quality food very clean water and these fishes also like high flow environment just because they are very very active and they like swimming a lot based on my experience these fishes are not very hard to feed I would just usually give them pellets or flakes or blood worms or daphnia or frozen brine shrimp and they would even take live food very greedily as a treat I haven't really seen a lot of aggression on this kind of fishes so but the only thing that I would be considering when I'm going to buy this fish is because they're very active and they're very fast I wouldn't think they would really make a good tank mate for slow moving fishes just because they're going to outcompete those other fishes that are very slow so I suggest if you're going to buy a fish that you want as a tank mate for giant Daniels then consider buying other fast moving fishes they are considered omnivores so give them a selection of high protein diet and also you can give them wafer algae wafers or any other plant based food based on my experience the more variety of food that you give to them the more coloration that they would show also if their water quality of the aquarium is very good then more of that coloration will show up they originate from much of northern India and their neighboring countries as well and that includes Bangladesh, Nepal 
Sri Lanka, Myanmar, and North Thailand. In their natural habitat, they are in moderate to fast flowing rivers. So if you're going to keep that in mind, you have to have a high flow rate in your aquarium and they would really appreciate that. These fishes are very active as I've mentioned before. So, so a wave maker in the aquarium will be something that they would appreciate. Also keep in mind that these fishes will thrive in an environment with a lot of vegetation in them. So try to simulate their environment as much as you can. But then again, these fishes are very hardy. So I don't think you would have a problem as long as you keep the water quality very good. Try to keep their temperature around 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And that I think is a really large range of temperature that a freshwater fish can thrive on. So as I've mentioned before, the oldest danio that I have in here is probably around 4 years old. And that's when I was starting to do aquascaping. I'm still learning at that time. And until now, they are still alive. When I actually first saw a giant danio in a store, I thought they were very beautiful. At that time, I was actually looking for a dither fish for my arowana. And for those people who don't know, dither fish is basically a fast moving fish that usually schools so that a very timid fish would feel comfortable going out of their environment. For example, if you have a fish that likes to hide, a dinner fish will actually be a good idea because it's going to make them think that everything is going to be alright and there's no predator in sight. Let's just say at that experience that I had, they worked really well. My arowana started going out of its hiding spot and it's easier for me to view them and it's easier for me to feed that fish at that same time. So once again, I suggest if you're looking for a fish that is very easy to keep, very hardy, very easy to feed, very inexpensive and also very beautiful, I would consider buying a giant danio. So once again, if you like this video, just click that like button and hit subscribe. And also feel free to leave a message here or leave a comment. That would be greatly appreciated. I hope this video helped with people who are trying to look for a good beginner fish. And it's really nice to be back making new videos. I'll try to keep doing more videos as I can, but for now, I'm gonna have to say, fish out!